I love is making music with my friends. I can't wait to get on the road again. On the road again. Back at the home. Going places that I've never been. Well, how's it going? Going great. It's fresh and cookie. Yeah. And I just played about two hours of Pokemon. Uh -huh. Or more, I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Why not? Because we're just chilling. In general. Greetings. Shout out to Curtis from Butler's ATV for letting us stay here in the lot. We're here in Greenville, Alabama. Yeah. We just stopped by Sweetheart, Alabama. Got yeah. some goodies. The only person, you're the only human being who's ever recognized. Oh, wow. And yeah. I got that at the Goodwill here for like $7. Oh, I didn't good. know what it was. Yeah ideas that they can transform, they can change right. shape. Yeah. And so they're in Tokyo, raccoons, and just do their best to live in the forest. And others of them transform into humans, and then they become part of oh, human that's society. Wild. Okay. <laughs> that's how it, yeah, they're just like, well, might as well join them. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. is something else. But yeah, the raccoons be ready. Yeah. Wow. Looks like something I could, Put in the motorhome somewhere. It's like a. I don't know what it is. It's a shape. It's a nice shape. Videos bought at the thrift store in Greenville, Alabama. You might ask, well, what does Momo do? Well, I make excellent lunches and dinners. Making burritos, got the beans, onions, cabbage, garlic, avocado, rice, salsa, tortillas. The lunch of champions. Well, as you know, we've jacked up the front a bit to, to keep it somewhat level. It needs to be level um, for the refrigerator to work. And it also needs to be level just to be able to walk around and sleep without, you know, everything being strange. But by jacking it up, the, the frame had a torque in it and made it to where the door didn't want to close right. It wouldn't close at all. It would, you know, it would, I mean, anyway, well, one night it, it uh, the wind caught it and it swung open because it wouldn't latch. So I solved that problem by putting another bottle jack under here and that lifts it up in a way that the um, frame is straighter so there's a hint if you ever in a trouble like this what else we have these solar panels these are the external solar panels and they can be set up to point to the Sun so that really brings in a lot of extra power and we have done pretty well over the weekend um, yeah we're at 12.3 It's the sound of rain in a motorhome late at night. We're gonna have biscuits, Momo. Mm, that would be nice. Biscuits for breakfast. Mm. Guess who's making them? Sneaky John.
Kiki chan. Busy. Good girl. Good morning. Grand rising. Grand rising, Momo. What you eating here? I'm eating leftover mushroom pilaf. It's the ideal warming breakfast that has vitamins and minerals. It's also chickpeas. This moment reminds me of that scene in The Matrix in which they have unplugged from the matrix and they're in the mm, Nosferat, uh, hmm, the name of that, the name of his ship, the Nos, uh, hmm, okay, sorry. Uh, but in any case, they're eating their gruel and they're like, it has all the essential amino acids. This is definitely not gruel. Cal is filling up the water tank. Hi. <laughs> Here's the water tank. You can see that that's the water. Maybe you can see. Kiki, what you doing on the table? What's going on? She's a little she's a little disturbed because because we're taking the transmission out and it's you know they got to use some force Oh they're so cute oh my god I'm going to cry Oh Oh they're cousins There's something under the covers. The locks burn if it's one of the busiest <laughs> points. What's under the there? Keeper, like we did at um, the locks that we did last in last week's uh, episode. Oh, watching Ben and Emily. Yeah, our favorites. This is our my self care moment. Is that a huge moment. horse? Or a tiny man? Ah. Or a child? Now the toes, maybe? Yes! I, really big I wasn't horse. planning on the toes. We just learned the casing is not cracked. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's January 8th. We just had dinner. It's been a hard time just being here in Alabama. Hard, but also easy. And I think hard psychologically, obviously. But I'm starting to realize that I'm very supported by Cal, by Curtis, the mechanic, by my friends in Athens who check up on me and watch the vlogs and just kind of are present with me even though I'm not physically there. And. I'm actually going to turn 28 um, in like less than 20 days. So I feel kind of reflective right now. And I guess I'm just thinking about how I don't really have to do anything in order to be loved. Like I don't have to do things for other people in order to have value. I just have value. And just how I admire other people, like my favorite vloggers, Ben and Emily on the narrow boat. You know, like, I don't know, like, I am also admirable. And I'm also worth taking up space. And this motorhome is worth taking up space. And there's just inherent beauty 
and me and the journey. This is a very big um, 180 from this morning. I just felt very depressed this morning. And I struggle with perfectionism like, oh, if I'm not reacting perfectly to the situation, then I'm bad. Or if the situation is not perfect, then it's awful. But that's very black and white thinking. I'm trying to get out of that. So, like Kiki, she has inherent beauty. <laughs> and she doesn't even have to try. So, I don't know. I always make things very psychological and about me. Is this what the older 20s are like? I guess so. But, luckily Cal has been there and done that. So, he helps me. Sometimes we just lay down in, in, the, in our beds and we just talk and it's like a Sigmund Freud vibe. And that's very helpful for me. Even if I don't get to say too much because I'm so depressed or something, but... Anyway, he got me a new sleeping bag. Cal got me a new sleeping bag from Walmart. And he ordered a generator from Amazon. And um, here at Butler ATV, they let us uh, get some water. And Cal has like dragged gallons of water in a vessel and then put it in the motorhome. So I'm really like taken care of basically. And my duties are take care of Kiki, make lunch, and clean up, make dinner, and clean up, and ultimately Cal has expressed that he wants me to be happy. Somehow that's just hard for me. It's because I have trauma. But <laughs> it's funny what this type of like space in terms of just, okay, we're here, the transmission is being rebuilt, we just have to wait, you know, that's reasonable. Things don't just happen like that. Um, but the space has kind of been a very reflective psychological moment for me. Um, I seem to be coming out on the other side right now. I wish I would just stay happy, but ups and downs are life. So. We'll see what happens. Are you ready? Ready is open. You could probably have a black box over the nipple. Or just Photoshop a man's nipple over mine. And then it'll be good. That big sack of stuff. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what it weighs, but I would guess maybe 60 pounds. Wow. Well. It feels that way. You want to give it a try? Yeah. Let's try picking it up for a second. Holy. I'm. And I'm strong, and this is heavy. Yeah. Yeah. The gasoline is empty, by the way. That's for the upcoming generator. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. What you got there? This is the new generator. 
and I'm removing the side cover to fill it with oil. Oh. I'm about a hundred feet away from the generator and I've got a decimal reader. Uh, it says it's about 60, 60 decibels. I'll show you where the camper is. It's about a hundred feet away. It's a pretty, it's, it's pretty far. You can hear it. You can hear it. <laughs> if it was a campground, people would be like, ah, I hear that. It's about 50 feet away now. 70 decibels. Now we're about uh, 10 feet away. 75 decibels. This is uh, 5 feet away. 85 decibels. <laughs> wow, 85 decibels, 5 feet away. Um, 86 decibels is the rate that your your hearing gets bad if you're exposed to it repeatedly. So, um, it's, it's not quiet. It's not silent. It says, it says on the cover. Look at this. not really that loud. Ah, here it is. Complaint bracelet. Complaining bracelet being moved over. Yep, because I complained about the sound of the generator. It's funny.